remember what this role was. Holy, is that me? <laughs> Apparently. <laughs> wow. Yeah, it's me. Okay. Yeah, I guess so. Brad Pitt is a famous American actor, film producer and TV producer. He is among the highest paid and most successful actors during his successful career as an actor. Brad has won an Academy Award and two Golden Globe Awards. Moreover, this man has received a Golden Globe Award, a Primetime Emmy Award and an Academy Award as a producer, under Plan B Entertainment, the production company owned by Brad. He first rose to fame when he appeared in the film titled Thelma and Louise, which was released in 1991. This actor has been cited as among the most influential as well as most powerful people in the entertainment industry. Several media outlets have named him the most attractive man in the world. Hey Bradford. Yes, Steve Arino. Do you think beauty is really only skin deep? I don't know. If you enjoy these videos, please remember to hit the like button, as it does help us out a lot. And comment below who your favorite celebrity is that you would love to see in an upcoming video. His full name is William Bradley Pitt. He is also known as Pitto, Pitbull, and Brad. He was born on December 18, 1963, in Oklahoma. Currently, he is 57 years old. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, or 1.8 meters. The star sign of Brad is Sagittarius, and he weighs approximately 72 kilograms or 160 pounds. Back in the year 2004, Brad supported John Kerry during the 2004 United States presidential election and visited the University of Missouri campus to encourage students to vote in the presidential election. Let me tell you that this famous actor supports an organization aimed at combating poverty in the developing world. Moreover, Brad is among the co-founders of an organization called Not On Our Watch, which focuses worldwide attention on stopping mass atrocities. Do you go out? Do you go out incognito? Like, how do you disguise yourself? I'm very covert. How? Yeah. I'm just, I, I'm kind of like the shark. I just keep moving. Back in 2006, Brad, along with Angelina Jolie, founded a charitable organization. This organization is called the Jolie Pitt Foundation and aids humanitarian causes across the globe. It's worth mentioning that Brad supports same-sex marriage last year. Brad narrated an ad for Joe Biden's presidential campaign during the late 1980s and early 1990s. This famous actor was involved in successive relationships with various co-stars including Juliette Lewis, Jill Shalland and Robin Givens. Moreover, he dated Gwyneth Paltrow from 1994 to 1997. Then in 1998, he met the famous actress Jennifer Aniston, who's well known for her role as Rachel Green in the hit show titled Friends. They got married in 2000 and announced their separation in 2005. In March 2005 Jennifer filed for divorce, which was finalized in October 2005. In April 2005, Brad started dating Angelina Jolie, and Angelina confirmed in 2006 that she was dating Brad when she revealed she was pregnant with Brad's child. They got engaged in 2012 and married in August of 2014. Angelina filed for divorce in 2016, which was finalized in 2019. Brad has six children from his various relationships. I definitely believe in death after life. He is the son of William Alvin Pitt and Jane Etta, and Douglas Pitt is his brother. Brad's father was the proprietor of a trucking company, while his mother was a school counselor. During Brad's childhood, the family moved to Springfield in Missouri. In 1969, his younger sister Julie Neal was born. Let me tell you that Brad was raised a Southern Baptist and later escalated between atheism and agnosticism. The actor went to Kickapoo High School and was a member of the tennis, swimming and golf teams. While in high school, Brad participated in the key and forensics clubs, in music as well as school debates. After graduating from high school, Brad enrolled at the University of Missouri in 1982. However, as his graduation approached, he did not felt ready to settle down, and Brad has said that he loved films. However, they were not made in Missouri, so Brad decided to move to where the films were made. Eventually, Brad left Missouri and went to Los Angeles. He started taking acting lessons and also worked odd jobs to support himself. He has also said that his early acting heroes were Mickey Rourke, Sean Penn and Gary Oldman. Is it the motorcycle helmet? Like, what that do you helps, that's that really helps. good. That yeah, that's a good one. Except when you get into a restaurant, you gotta take it off. Or have a crash, which <laughs> did happen. Brad took acting lessons from coach Roy London while he was struggling to establish himself. 
in Los Angeles, Brad started his acting career back in 1987. That year he played uncredited parts in various films, including Less Than Zero, No Man's Land, and No Way Out. In May 1987, he made his TV debut when he appeared in Another World. The next year, he had a cameo role in the film titled 21 Jump Street, and later he was signed as the main actor for the film, The Dark Side of the Sun. In 1989, Brad appeared in two motion pictures including Happy Together and Cutting Class. The next year, he appeared in a TV movie titled Too Young to Die. After several minor roles and guest appearances, Brad rose to fame in 1991 when he played a supporting role in the film Thelma and Louise. During the same year, he started the film Johnny Suede, the next year Brad appeared in the Academy Award-winning film, titled A River Runs Through It. In 1994, Brad appeared in the hit film interview with The Vampire. The next year, he starred in the crime thriller Seven, and went on to appear in the legal drama Sleepers. Since then, Brad has appeared in a number of hit movies including Fight Club, Ocean's 12, Mr., and Mrs. Smith, Once Upon a Time in Hollywood, and World War Z. In 2001, Brad along with Jennifer co-founded Plan B Entertainment. The company has produced various successful films, such as Kick-Ass, Moneyball, 12 Years of a Slave and The Time Traveler's Wife. Next Brad will star in Babylon and Bullet Train. I find you a bit judgy, a little judgy, but... Primarily Brad has earned his wealth through acting and producing movies. Brad earned $6,000 for appearing in Thelma and Louise. Then in 1993, he made $500,000 for appearing in California from the movie Seven, Brad made $4 million. He earned his first $10 million paycheck in 1996 for the movie Sleepers. In 1997, he earned $18 million from Devil's Own and Seven Years in Tibet. The total net worth of Brad Pitt is $300 million. This famous actor has an impressive portfolio of real estate, worth more than $100 million. Let me tell you that Brad's primary residence is his house in Los Angeles. In 2000, the actor bought a beach house in Santa Barbara for $4 million. Brad purchased a mansion in the French Quarter for $3.5 million. In 2006, along with Angelina, Brad bought a 1,200-acre winery in the south of France for $67 million. In 2015 the actor bought a villa on the Spanish island of Majorca for $3.7 million. Previously Brad owned a helicopter worth $1.6 million, which was gifted by Angelina Jolie. Moreover, this Hollywood actor owns a World War II-era Supermarine Spitfire, which is worth more than $3.3 million. If you like our videos, subscribe to our channel to get regular updates. And, thanks for watching.